So I hear this question a lot inside a bus mob. When it comes to smoking, nicotine, what are the risks and why shouldn't you smoke or vape or any of that good stuff? Well, it's not good stuff, is it? <laughs> it depends, depends on who you ask or what time of day, I suppose. <laughs> um, the issue is I'm a plastic surgeon who operates on healthy people. I don't want to do wound care. I don't want to pack a wound. You don't want to pack a wound. I don't like to take out breast implants. I don't like infection. I, I, wound care is a, is a distant part of my life. The only controllable risk factor that you have for that is smoking. When we get nicotine in our system, actually, no matter how we get it, like I keep going to the gas station, there's like a new and improved way to get nicotine. Like I saw the, I think these like snuff is back or something, oh, but anyway. To my dad it is. Well, however you get it in there, the nicotine causes the blood vessels to cinch down. Oh. Um, when the blood vessels are cinched down, they don't provide oxygen to the tissues. We need oxygen in the tissues in order for you to heal. Certain procedures um, where incisions cross, like in a breast lift or in a tummy tuck that's under some tension. Um, in, in those incisions, we already have less oxygen because they're under some tension. Mm -hmm. And now when we get even less oxygen, the tissue can die. Nipples can die. Nipples are something else that um, when we do a breast reduction or when we put an implant in, we're, we're asking the nipple to live off less blood supply, right? Either because it stretched with an implant or mm -hmm. because we took out part of the blood supply. So then when you smoke and you make those little tiny blood vessels that I'm dependent upon working, not work, mm -hmm. uh, you can have tissue loss, yeah. tissue ischemia. When the tissues are ischemic, they die, they leave open wounds. It, it can be a real disaster. Um, so I will not knowingly do a tummy tuck, a breast lift, a breast reduction, um, any surgery with a bunch of incisions on a smoking patient or a patient that's consuming nicotine, mm -hmm. whether it's gum, snuff, pipe, smoking it, vaping it, um, corn cob pipe. looking at it too much, corn cob pipe, that happens a lot. No, it doesn't. <laughs> um, but if it did, don't can't do that either. Um, the literature says four to six weeks before surgery, you need to quit to get your risk close to baseline. Mm. Um, and so I, I test most patients because I know it's really hard to quit smoking. And I know that you're incentivized to want to have the surgery. Like, gosh, I have a great job. People want to have surgery. Mm -hmm. But my job is to keep you safe during the surgery. So I cannot do surgery on patients that are consuming nicotine. Um, and then you specifically ask about smoking. Mm -hmm. So then many of the surgeries I do require the patients to be asleep with anesthesia. When we're asleep with anesthesia, we often either need help breathing or need a machine to breathe for us. Um, if you're consuming anything, whether it's marijuana, CBD oil, vaping the vape pen with no nicotine, whatever that stuff is, I don't, I'm not an expert, mm -hmm. um, that creates um, inflammation or swelling in the airways and you can have more phlegm, you're at more likelihood of getting a pneumonia after the surgery if you're smoking anything. So. I, if you need marijuana as part of your life, eat it, you mm -hmm. know, like let's do something other than smoke it around the time of surgery. That's good. Okay. So what I'm taking away from this is you shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't vape any nicotine out of the question because we don't want our tissues to not have oxygen and we don't want our skin to die. That's absolutely correct. Okay. <laughs> if you're researching plastic surgery, you're going to want to hear this. The video you just watched was one of hundreds of educational plastic surgery videos that you can find in the completely free Bust Mob Academy app. Go download it in the App Store. That's right. And that's not the only free resource. We have tons of them that the team at Amelia Aesthetics has built with you in mind. Yep. So you ready to start researching? Watch this video right here to learn about all of the benefits and resources available to you in the Bust Mob community.